so hello everyone in this video we'll be uh, adding one more feature in this so in this uh, we'll be adding an edit uh, functionality as well so the person can edit the task so let's do that first of all we have to uh, see that all these to do lists lists are there so first of all I'll do in the to do list basically in the first tab I'll add this functionality so for that what we have to do is here I can do current edit first of all let me just create the current edit state at the top and I can make it as empty for now and then in the uh, so it was here yeah so if current edit has the index of if the current edit or the current edited item is basically the current item in the to-do list then we'll show a different UI instead of this return right so that will do so let me just add an if statement instead of this this will return in the else part so we'll do that so let me just create a simple input list here we can make a class as well edit wrapper now here what I can do is I can create an input field which will be for the title updated title and I can add the uh, value here which will be nothing but current edit sorry here I have to add the current edit not the current edit but the current edited item dot title and on change I can add and I can call a function handle update title and here we can add e statement here value we can add e here so this will be the thing that we'll be doing and in the below part what I can do is I can add the text area and I can add description let me just see yeah so it's title and description and I can add description function here and in here like what I can do is I can also create one edit button as well edit outline or AI edit outline edit that I can do and I can call the classes and I can add that so this will show us the edit button in all to do list and I can add handle edit function and in that I can pass the index or basically I can pass uh, the item as well if I want so I can do that with the help of index I can get the item so you don't have to worry about that let me just create this function first which will be our main function whenever we'll be clicking on the 
edit button so it will basically get grab the index and it will add the current edit item as ind now let me just show you how this will work also let me just create handle uh, update title and update description function as well value and then I can copy it for the description as well if I save it and if I go to that place let me just current edited item is not there let me just also add set current edited item as all to do's hot index that we can do or else you can pass the item as well and index as well that will be more easier so let me just pass the item it will be more easier this way so if I pass the item in the edit button here so it will send the item as well which is basically mapped through so this will work now let me just create this state as well which in which we'll be storing our updated uh, current items details the title and description in the same thing if I do that let me just show you this edit button you can see this is an edit button if I click on this edit button okay let me just see what is happening okay there's no thing it sometimes happens let me just see the logs let me just add a log first okay if I console log the index and if I see if I'm returning it in the map or not yeah I'm not returning it so I have to return it also remember we are using curly brackets so we have to add this in a return otherwise it will not work okay we also need to add key so we can add that in here which is nothing but the index if I do that this arrow will be gone so you can see this is shown showing us the to do homework and this is done now we can also add some styling in this that will be good so let me just add a wrapper and style it so let me just add the styling at the bottom I can add a background let's say this color and a padding let's say 10 pixel and a display flex flex direction column if I see that and you can see it is there now let me just style the inputs as well border one pixel solid light gray and I can increase the padding and a little bit of margin that will make more sense yeah if I do that 10 pixel all over the place yeah this is making more sense if you want to add border radius so that you can also do so it looks good we can also do it for the text area yep it's looking cool now here what we can do is we can also add uh, rows here which will be nothing but four so the sizing is also increased for the text area 
and now in here we'll also create a simple button which will be a primary button so we can grab it from here the styling basically so here we'll be giving a button as well to submit the changes or oh, we can add a handle update to do and uh, we'll do that update and then we can simply call this function later on I'll be setting all these title and description first let me just call this function you can see this update button is there we can make it on center if you want that will be good uh, let me just make it into the center margin left auto margin right auto so we'll make it into the center and if you want to increase the padding that you can do and font size that you can also increase if you like width you can add as 100% not 100% but fit content that will uh, create uh, this button as full fully basically I think 20 pixel is very much let's make it 5 pixel or 10 pixel that will be good yeah so this is update now if I make changes in that so it will not be making changes because remember we have set the value as uh, fixed like the we are not updating any value in here right so we are not updating the where is that so we are not updating current edited items value that's why if we are making any change inside that so that will not be reflected so that we have to do so we have to update those uh, fields inside our state which is current edited item what we can do is I can create the prev state and you can create directly as well so set currented items and you can get the previous value and then you can get uh, you can return it the previous value and here you can set the title as value so value is this one basically and in here you can uh, do that for the description also it will be making more sense if we if we add yeah it's added I think so it will be good yeah if I save it so that should update the fields now if I make changes let's say so you can see it is making changes homework today I have to complete it before 4 p.m. p.m. so you can see I am doing it now this will work so what I can do is uh, now if I click on this button it should update the to-do list so for that what we'll do is I'll grab the item which is there first I'll grab the previous list previous to do which is nothing but all to do's just like we are grabbing it in here let me just show you that you can see we are grabbing it in every fields right so for we are grabbing previous fields now we are, we'll update it we'll update it with this current edited item uh, first we'll find the current index that needs to be updated so that will do first of all find the index so previous to do current edit so current edit is, is the index that we are updating basically in that we'll update it with the 
current edited item so current edited item will update that now what we'll do is we will as updated uh, set to do's with the new to do and new to do will add it here if I do that and also after that I'll remove the current edit index and I can make it empty for now or you can set minus one as well yeah you can see uh, the value is updated now if I click on update you can see it is updated so it is saying do homework today I have to complete it before 4 p.m. so earlier it was different now let me just add some more uh, task here let's say play basketball I let's say I, I missed by mistake added this play basketball at 4 a.m. or let's say 6 a.m. if I add it you can see this is there but now if I click on this edit button it will show me this form where I can update this field let me just add play and the spellings uh, let me just make it correctly and if I update it you can see it is updated so play basketball now it is updated similarly you can do it for a completed task as well so if I click on check so you can see it is completed so it will come un under the completed task and it will not it will not lo no longer show the edit and checked part but if you want to edit any task so you have to edit it here so in the to do section if you want to uh, try this challenge so you can also add this edit part here as well similarly uh, like, like I did for the to do's right so that you can also do by yourself you can make use of uh, some of the functions you can make use of all the functions which I created by yourself and you can do that for the completed section as well otherwise you can leave it and you can move towards this uh, you can update the list here as well because that makes more sense because after we have completed that completed the task so we don't basically update the list right so it makes more sense when uh, the task is not completed so this was it i hope you got something thank you for watching let's meet in the next video